which means that that whole $9 billion scare, it's not actually $9 billion. This is what the market was scared about. Just because they're going to distribute it, it doesn't mean that everyone's going to get that in one hit. What's actually going to happen is some individual creditors are going to claim theirs early. That's going to equate to about 35000 which means that that whole $9 billion scare, it's not actually $9 billion. It's only half. A lot of these individual creditors, the ETF companies like BlackRock, they've reached out to them and said, hey, I'm going to give you X amount for your Bitcoin. And when you get credited, I'm going to essentially buy that Bitcoin. That means there's a lot of people that had held Bitcoin who have also already sold it. That's also going to reduce more pressure coming onto the market. And after the actual people who have gone and bought Bitcoin from these creditors, they don't get that Bitcoin until it gets released. But they've made an agreement where you know, they would have given them maybe $5,000 back a year ago and said, hey, I'm going to give you more than what it's worth. But when it comes out, I'm going to take it, which means now from four and a half billion, we could be looking at maybe $2 billion of actual selling pressure. It's just getting lower and lower. Does everyone understand what I'm saying here when I'm reading this and just saying that this is just scared the shit out of the market because everyone just said 9 billion, but really it might actually be two. <laughs> and everyone just panicked because they didn't know the actual details of it. And it caused a major wide sell-off within the market.